Well, there's big news on the iPhone security front because researchers have discovered that scores of Chinese apps have managed to make it into the official app store with just one problem. They're infected with malware. What appears to have happened is this. Many of the people developing iOS and OSX uh, software use a library from Apple called Xcode. Now, you can download Xcode from Apple's own servers, and that's legitimate and it hasn't been tampered with. But because of internet connectivity issues, some developers, particularly, for instance, in China, might download it from somewhere else. So if someone else has put Xcode up on a website somewhere and posted a link to it, you might download that version. No problem at all with that, because Apple doesn't charge for Xcode, apart from one tiny problem. And that is if Xcode has been tampered with. Because if Xcode is tampered with, when you compile your own software for the iPhone or iPad, you will find that the code which you actually produce has been tampered with as well. And what researchers have found is a piece of malware called Xcode Ghost. And what it can do is it can siphon off information from your iPhone or iPad, send it to the hackers, and with that information, the hackers may even be able to take remote control of some aspects of your iPhone and maybe present phishing uh, dialogues, maybe attempt to steal your iCloud username and password. Now, initially, it seemed that the infections of Xcode Ghost were limited to iPhone and iPad users in China, downloading largely Chinese apps. Well, it doesn't appear that that's actually completely accurate, because there are other apps now, it's been discovered, which have also been impacted. Amongst them, WeChat, which is a messaging app used by hundreds of millions of people around the world. And there are other apps as well used uh, in the West, such as CamCard, which is used to scan in business cards of people who you meet. But it may not just be apps which you've got from the App Store which could be affected by this. There are apps which enterprises make specifically for the staff inside their organisation, and they completely avoid the App Store. So if your company's in the habit of creating and rolling its own apps for its iOS devices, it's always possible that they could have been infected too. Tencent, the developers of WeChat, say that they've updated the software to excise the malicious code. So if you have it on any of your iDevices, make sure that you update it in order to protect yourself. And no doubt there will be other software developers out there who are taking a long, hard look at their code right now and determining if they could also have been vulnerable to this particular attack. What do we learn from this? Well, you know, no one's infallible. Apple, historically, has run a much more secure and tighter app store than Google has with the Google Play Store. Um, there's a lot less malware that's got in there, but that doesn't mean that nothing malicious has ever got in there. It has in the past, it has right now, and you know what? It probably will in the future as well. Nothing is 100% secure. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like it and check out some of the other videos I've made as well. And if you really want me to make more vids, then subscribe to my channel. All right. So, have you subscribed yet? Come on, subscribe. <laughs>